What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. And if you have one of the new beautiful 2016 MacBook Pros, you have these USB-C slots, not USB 3.0, which means you can't plug this anywhere. I can't plug in my microphone. I can't even plug in my external hard drive. While there's a lot of people up in arms about it, there's a very cheap and simple solution. These are from Aki. They're a USB-C to USB 3.0 adapter. They're very cheap at under $10, so actually closer to five. You can get a two pack. I actually bought five packs total, so I have 10 of these, which altogether combined is gonna cost less than buying one of Apple's single cable adapters for USB-C to USB 3.0. Now the big thing here is people don't want to use these adapters. They don't want to use dongles anywhere. And why would you want that? You don't want this thing hanging out the side of your MacBook Pro 24 seven. And good news is you don't have to do that. How I've been using these and what I'm gonna do from here on out, and the reason why I bought 10 of these total, I'm gonna attach each of these to every USB, every hard drive, every flash drive, or everything I need, and I'm just gonna keep it attached there. So instead of just having this awkward dongle hang out on my MacBook, now it's just gonna be an extra inch on the end of my cables. A lot of USB-C adapters out there are only used for charging. There's no data transfer, which means you can't actually use a hard drive or a flash drive. You can't plug in things like a microphone, a webcam, a mouse, a keyboard, none of that. Thankfully, these allow for full data transfer so you could use anything. So for me personally, what I used a lot on my 2014 Retina MacBook Pro was the SD slot. And again, we don't have that card reader on here, but they make, again, very cheap adapters that you can plug in. While they're not USB-C, they're still USB 3.0. All you have to do is attach one of these Aki adapters to it, plug it in, take it out when you need it and when you don't. So while it's not ideal, I know it's an inconvenience here. And yes, I would still love to have at least two USB 3.0 slots on the MacBook Pro. There are cheap solutions out there, and these ones from Aki, I think, are the, probably the best one. Like I said, I have 10 total. You can get a two-pack for around $5. And the 10 that I have bought combined are still cheaper than one cable from Apple of a USB-C to USB 3.0. So you can get a lot. And like I said, don't attach them to your MacBook and leave them on there. Just attach them to the USBs that you would use most frequently or at the end of the cables there. So you can still just plug it in. And it really shouldn't be an issue. So. Quick little video, I wanted to help you guys out. And just remember, don't get fooled. Make sure you read on the uh, Amazon, wherever you're looking. A lot of these adapters do not uh, have a data transfer. These do, so don't get fooled. I'm gonna put the link to these in the description down below so you can check them out. If this video helped you out, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed, have a good day.